Welcome to the PathMonk Presents podcast. My name is Sean Donnelly Lewis, and in today's episode, we're talking with Hayden Colson. He's the marketing manager at OmniChain. Hayden, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having me, Sean. Pleasure to be here. So, give us the view from 30,000 feet. What do you guys do? Yeah, so OmniChain is a supply chain management platform that is designed to connect all of the, all of the different players in your supply chain. So, your suppliers, manufacturers, warehouses, um, sales channels and customers and all your logistic partners uh, along the way. So by connecting all of these players, we're able to drive visibility across your entire supply chain and automate a lot of the manual processes that uh, operators would, would have trying to stitch all of that data together to themselves and all of the commu commu communication. Um, so we're able to drive by putting all the data in one place, we're able to drive predictive and prescriptive analytics using artificial intelligence and machine learning uh, algorithms. Right, so how does that influence your clientele? You guys mainly work with people that would obviously have a lot more logistical problems, or do you guys work with mom and pop shops on there just getting things from DHL or UPS? How, how, what does your clientele look like? Yeah, so um, we, we typically uh, work with businesses that are operating five to 10 million on the, on the lower level, but we also have businesses that are, are doing a billion dollars in revenue. So. Not, not so much your mom and pop shop, it, it's more of the um, companies that have uh, just a supply chain network design already. You know, they're, they're working with a few different suppliers. They have certain warehouses, multiple sales channels. Um, so just it's more of those, those medium-sized businesses to enterprise-sized businesses. And as far as Omnichain growing as a business, how have you guys been able to do that? Digital marketing, SEO, what would be some of the main avenues of, of drawing people in? Yeah, so uh, there are really, you know, two avenues, inbound and outbound. So inbound, we, we do a lot of digital advertising, Google ads, LinkedIn advertising. We try to stay omnipresent. So, you know, driving intent traffic through, um, through Google and then just retargeting across all the different platforms. So we're always popping up uh, in the feeds and, and trying to, you know, work the, the customer through that buying journey. So, you know, inbound and outbound. So we have a, a dedicated sales team who are, you know, on the phone, sending emails and LinkedIn messages constantly throughout the day. Uh, and then we also get a lot of clients from referrals. So those are, you know, typically where we get our clientele from. All right. Good name drop there. Being able to use the company name in conversation from a sales standpoint, you're killing it. But <laughs> say we were omnipresent, we're omni-channeled, right? Um, yeah, so what, do you, what, is the, what does the website play? What role does the website play in your overall business? Yeah, so the website is probably the most important part. Um, when I first came to the company, it was more like a brochure style. Uh, but the goal, in the, the goal of the website is essentially to educate uh, the prospect on, you know, what we do, what we have to offer, you know, who is it for, uh, what problems do we solve for, and with what solution. So, uh, essentially, you know, the, the goal is to educate the, the, the uh, prospect so that they can make the most informed business decision for, for their business uh, and then, you know, drive that, um, drive those demo requests. That's what it's all about. Yeah. So you talked about the website transitioning from when you started with the company to where it is now. What would you mm -hmm. say is, are, are some of the strengths of the website in your eyes since you've seen that transition from where it was to, to where it is? Yeah. So. Uh, Definitely the biggest, the biggest impact that we've seen is, is being able to pop up organically through our content. So, um, you know, before we, we had blog posts, but for some reason we, we were doing it through HubSpot and they weren't showing up uh, organically in search. And now because we've been able to create our own CMS or, um, you know, we've been able to rank organically for uh, a lot of our blog posts, drive traffic, and then uh, in turn, you know, get people who are interested in the product. Very cool. And so being a marketing guy, it's always a good question for marketing people because there's so much room for improvement, right? You're always thinking about the things that could change with the website. Um, where would you say that you, yeah, you're thinking about changing or you think, you think, okay, if we could improve this on our website, then I would be really happy. What would be something, what would be an area that you, you could improve in? Yeah. So, um, you know, the first stage of the website didn't have a lot of content. The second uh, iteration of the website has a lot of content. So I think um, the next step, the next stage in, in evolution of our website would be able to 
uh, still keep a lot of the, the concepts of the website, but kind of condense it down a little bit, make it a little bit more uh, consumable and digestible for the, uh, for the consumer. Yeah, do you have any ideas what that would look like practically? I mean, you don't have to play your, you don't have to give away your cards right now, <laughs> but, but how would you do that practically? Yeah, so uh, practically it's essentially just, you know, speaking to, instead of uh, segmenting based on all of the different industries, you know, we, we pretty much solve the same problems across the board. Um, so really just condensing all of the industry pages uh, into, uh, you know, one uh, generalized solution page. Yeah. So just kind of circling them back around to what you guys do at, at Omnichain, what would be the main competitive advantage to that, right? You guys, obviously there are logistic companies and companies that help you do that. Just go ahead and you could sell us again on it. What, what would be the main competitive advantage? Yeah. So the main competitive advantage is really, you know, getting the visibility into your supply chain, into the, the data when you demand it so that you're able to make decisions faster. So you're able to increase the agility of your supply chain. So you're, instead of being reactive to certain situations, you're able to be proactive. So really taking away from, um, you know, the sense of urgency and more and gives you the ability to focus on more of the vision and less of the, you know, manual tasks. So you can take the robot out of the human. Gotcha. Yeah, we've started kind of 30,000 feet, what you guys do. Now just like talk a little bit structurally. How, how, is, how is sales and marketing structured at the moment? Yeah, so uh, it's, we have a pretty streamlined process where we, um, you know, we take, as a marketing qualified lead, you have to be requesting a demo. So I, know, I noticed with other types of companies that they'll do lead scoring. So, you know, based on the activity that they've had with your content or engagement with your website, whatever it may be, you kind of increase the, the score over time, but then you pass over these leads over to sales, but they don't, they don't really have that intent to buy or they have no desire or need for your, your uh, product in the first place. So uh, really my entire goal in, in the marketing team is to drive that demand for the demo. And then, you know, when people have that need and desire for the, for the platform to learn more about the platform, pass that over to the sales team. So it's a simple qualification process using the BANT model. Great. Now I just want to switch gears a little bit and talk about you as a leader. What kind of content do you consume to continue to, to grow and educate yourself as a professional and as a person? Yeah, so I, I, uh, I, I prioritize my education and, and, and learning uh, on a daily basis. So I'm up at 5.30 every morning, 6 o'clock. I'm reading, I'm reading different magazines, uh, you know, different articles, whether it's related to supply chain and what's happening in the industry or uh, in marketing, what are the new tactics? You know, there's a lot of, um, there, there's new information, there's new technologies emerging every single day. Uh, and it, it's really, it's my duty to learn as much as I can from, you know, people who are uh, achieving the result that I desire. Okay, great. Yeah, getting up at five in the morning, I think that's, it's all good until you have kids and then, <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. then, then you then you then that doesn't happen anymore you get up every every hour seemingly okay just to just as we slowly come to the end of of the interview and, and Hayden I appreciate you being on the show but now things are going to get really serious we're going to jump into our rapid fire section how are you feeling about that do you need to hydrate before we jump into it no not at all I'm ready to go okay you're ready to go cool all right I'm just going to throw questions at you and you try and answer them as quick and crisply as possible. What was the last book that you read? Contagious. What's one single thing that your company's focused on at the moment? Uh, top of the funnel. If there were no boundaries in technology, what would be the one thing you'd wanna have fixed for your company today? Hmm. Uh, that's a good question. Uh, technology, I, I would say uh, easier to use uh, advertising platforms. Okay. What was the one thing that kept you awake about your company recently? What was the last thing that kept you awake at night? Mm, um, what, what type of content are we going to use for our next webinar? Okay. And if you were to start all over again at the company, what would be the piece of advice you give yourself? 
I would definitely tell myself to focus on one area of opportunity at, at a time, finish that, and then move on to the next instead of, you know, trying to chip away piece by piece at all of these different um, facets. Very cool. Well, usually on, the, on our show, we give our guests the last word, but we're not going to do that today. No, I'm just kidding. I will. I'm going to be generous. No, but seriously, do, do and say anything you want. We, we, we give you the chance to talk about if you want to sum up what you, what you told us today, or if you have something else that you feel like saying, we just give you the floor and uh, yeah, Hayden, go for it. Cool. Yeah. Well, if, uh, if there's one thing that I want everyone to take away is really you know, we're not a technology company built by a bunch of developers. We're a platform built by operators for operators made to simplify the life of people in supply chain and operations. So uh, we really take a, a big focus on um, our customer, which is the operator, and try to make their lives better. Very cool. Hayden Colson, you can check out what they're doing at Omnichains with an S dot com. Hayden, thanks so much for being on the show. Thank you very much, Sean. All right, guys. We'll see you next time.